Hi, welcome to this month's coaching blog. Hopefully you've had a good season and you're getting ready for a nice autumn working on your game. Uh, with that in mind, I've just brought up some footage here of several different golfers with varying styles and uh, methods of swing. Uh, just to raise a point that, that you come across quite a bit when dealing with people in regards to improving the golf. Most golfers believe that there is a correct way to swing a golf club or play golf. And if you look at this footage, you'll see that there's many, many differing styles. All these styles produce outstanding results, none of which resemble the, the mythical correct method that thousands of magazines and DVDs are forcing upon you on a weekly basis. So why is it that all these different styles can produce quite outstanding results on a consistent basis? I'd like to highlight a few key areas that each one of these players understands and appreciates. I'll just work through them briefly for you. First of all, each player has a fundamentally sound setup. They've got stability, they've got athleticism, so the, 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 the setup is fundamentally sound and it is appropriate for the shape of shot that they're trying to hit. Next, they understand the best way to create power. They also understand their swing tendencies. You tend to find that most golfers have core tendencies. So when you're playing bad, you tend to revert to one of these tendencies. We like to think that we're doing something completely different when we start playing badly on, on each occasion. But the fact of the matter is it, we aren't. We tend to revisit the same territory when we're playing bad. The next thing these players have all done is they've identified and been able to assess their actual individual strengths and weaknesses so that when they're out there practicing they're trying to make the weaknesses stronger, they're trying to maintain the strengths and they plan the round based upon this information when they're out playing. They also practice in the correct manner, they practice in a manner that suits them. So if you want to improve your golf, if you want to get your handicap down, what I suggest you do is stop looking for the ideal swing that unfortunately doesn't exist but sells a hell of a lot of books and start focusing on some key areas as we've discussed here in this blog. Good luck with it. Hope you winter well. Speak to you soon and keep in touch.